what is going on with me? My head, it's just been aching so much lately. There's no need to worry, sis. I think it might just be a minor migraine coming on. Seriously, though. Don't worry, okay? Nox Nictoris Nirvana. Analyzing condition. Sis! Target still active. Resuming destruction routine. Sis! Sis! Stop! Don't you dare touch my sister! Destruction of Nox Nictoris Nirvana. Confirmed. Ada? <laughs> that can't be one of my memories. What's going on? I must be more tired than I thought. Yeah, that has to be it. Like I said, don't worry about me, sis. You're right. We need to find it as soon as possible. Azure Grimoire. What's the matter, sis? Isn't that... Ragna the Blood Edge! Wow, sis, you're truly amazing! I guess our luck is in today! I never imagined we'd find the Azure Grimoire so quickly. Wait a second. It appears that Ragna the Blood Edge is not alone. Yeah, that's right, sis. We should probably just hang back and observe for a while. That area over there should be perfect for staying concealed. Come along, sis. I can't be absolutely certain, but it looks like there's only one other person with him. But from this angle, I can't say for sure. Okay, Ragna the Blood Edge, I'll let you go this time. But when we meet each other again, it will be as enemies. That voice... Isn't that Miss Noel? Ah, she's gone now. Thank goodness, I guess Lady Luck truly is smiling upon us. Now's our chance. What was that, sis? Why are you so interested in Miss Noelle all of a sudden? B but she doesn't have anything to do with this. Our goal is Ragna the Blood Edge. The Azure Grimoire is almost in our grasp. Let's wait for an opening and strike. what's so important to him. He's left himself wide open, but... Yes, sis, I'm well aware of just how dangerous he is. It's very much like watching a lion. 
And you. I can almost feel your eyes on me. How long do you plan on cowering in the shadows? So, you were able to sense my presence. I'm impressed, Ragna the Blood Edge. You're that kid vigilante. What do you want, brat? I don't have time to play with kids. You may not. However, Mr. Ragna the Blood Edge, I do. Last warning, kid. I'm really not in the mood for this bullshit. If you don't want me to hand you your head, I strongly suggest that you just turn around and walk away. Now. Do you really think that mere words would deter me? Nah, but it was worth a shot. Now, sis, let's defeat Ragna the Blood Edge and get the Azure. Let's get on with this. The Vero Quad is turning. Level 1. Action! That's fine! <laughs> 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 Huh? Oh, 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 oh. The hell was that? Oh, 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 oh. Inferno oh, 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 oh. Inferno oh, 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 Going in strong! You can't say I didn't warn you. It's too late for second thoughts now, you little punk. <laughs> oh, you're very strong. Just as I suspected. I told you from the start what I was going to do to you. Now scram, kid. You bother me. Sis? Jin? Ow! Oh. Thank you, sis. <sighs> You're right, sis. I still can't do anything without you. Yes, thanks, sis. Nirvana, you bitch. Now the blood edge. Hell? I have to go after him. I need to take possession of the Azure. Oh. oh. Master Carl? I heard a commotion and came as quickly as I could, but I never expected this. Curses. It seems I was too late. Master Carl, you must hang on. I shall take you to the hospital immediately. You mustn't go toward the light, Master Carl! What? You, you mean to say Miss Lychee is not available? Yeah, she said that she had something really important to take care of. Then it appears that both my luck and my ideas have run out. Well, you could start by setting him down on the bed over there. I am familiar with some emergency treatments. Oh, thank you, young lady. Hold it right there! Huh? What did you do to little Carl? 
You mean me? Who else would I be talking to? Look at the poor boy. He's just one big mass of cuts and bruises. Don't worry, Carl. I'll save you. Wait a second. You misunderstand. That's what they all say. I've heard it all before, criminal. C criminal? No, I speak nothing but the truth. Honesty runs in my veins. Excuse me, miss? This man is telling the truth. You are? I am Linwa, Dr. Lychee's assistant here at the clinic. Bang was the one who brought this child in. You don't seem to be lying. Or appear threatened for that matter. I'm sorry, it's just that... Oh, it's nothing. <laughs> So long as the misunderstanding is understood. But to call me a criminal, how could you think such a handsome young man of Ikaruga could be a criminal? Hmm? Huh? Did you say something? <coughs> uh, nothing. Anyway, we should be helping Carl right now. Yes, that we should. Let's take him inside. What devilry is this? A puppet moving without a master? Please put me down, Master Bang. Master Carl, you have returned. Huh? What is the matter? Please, remain calm. Sis, so she's our enemy? It's just that... No, no. If you say she's our enemy, then it must be true. Well, as that seems to be settled, as much as I regret this, Miss Noel, I'm going to have to ask you to die. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Level 1. Action! Let's see you dodge the ground! Yes! How's that? Ah, ah, the real. Hey! Ah. Going in strong! Huh? On the grid oh, top! Be about it! Huh? Be about it! Strong, please! Carl! How's that? Ada! How's that? Please, Carl! Contabulate! Huh? For real! Oh, no! Ah. Ada! Oh, oh. Quick, hurry it out! Hurry it! Contabulate! On the grid top! Oh, no! Take one! Huh? Please! How's that? Contact walk away! Where are you looking? How's that? How's that? Going in strong! Be about you! Be about you! Be about you! Go away! Please, hold me! Type walk! Rhapsody of memory! Take away! On the grid toe! Finish! Going in strong! Contact! Please! Oh no! I was! Contabulate! On the grid toe! I'm... Uh, sis, what was that all about? Hmm, even the trained brain of a ninja of Ikaruga can make neither heads nor tails of this strange puppet. But there can be no doubt, it is dangerous. I agree. I'll be sure to turn it over to the NOL immediately. Mr. Bang, please take care of Carl in the meantime. Understood. The Wheel of Fate is turning. Level 1. Action! Oh no! On the grid toe! Count, please! How's that? Going in strong! Anima! Not quite. Not strong. Oh no! 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 Oh no!
Finale. Goodbye, Miss Noel. I will not let you. What are you doing, Master Bang? I would never dream of interrupting a fair duel, but what you do here, Master Carl, is anything but fair. Oh. Your behavior confuses and saddens me, Master Carl. This woman only tried to help treat your wounds. She had no intention of crossing blades with you. Mr. Bang! What has happened to you, Master Carl? Perhaps you had best cool down a little. You have no idea what you're talking about. Huh? You know nothing about me! You! Just leave me alone! Come on, sis, it's time we left! Master Carl, your wounds are still... <laughs> I think I might have overdone it a little bit. No, I'm fine, sis. Really, I'm just a little tired. A bottle with a regeneration Ars Magus sealed inside. Side effects scare me. But I don't have much of a choice right now. Oh, now, if I can just find a quiet place to rest. Oh, what's the matter, sis? <gasps> the Librarium? And that uniform. The Zero Squadron. Who are you? I don't recall being acquaintances with the Wing of Justice. Carl Clover. Is that you, Carl? Oh, that voice. It's me, Carl. Tsubaki Yayoi. Don't you remember me? Miss Tsubaki. Then you do remember me. I'm touched. Even so, I regret that we have to meet this way after so long. So you're a member of the Zero Squadron now, Tsubaki? I suppose I should have expected as much from the famous Yayoi's. May I ask a personal query? What is it? I'll answer it if I can, but... The Zero Squadron. On paper, your unit stands at the very top of the Librarium command structure. So I thought the information might trickle your way. Do you know where my father is? What's his name? <gasps> Relius Clover. Uh, but... but that's... Judging by your expression, it seems that you do, in fact, know something. I am sorry, but I think I must insist that you tell me everything you know. You can't be serious. If I weren't, then I wouldn't be here right now. You understand that much, right? Now, I think that's enough exposition. Let's move on to the climax, shall we? The Wheel of Fate is turning! Level 1, action! Going in strong! Oh, 
I bought that potion from made me more than a little skeptical, but it seems to have worked as advertised. Uh, uh, Carl! Now let's continue our conversation. I was asking about my father, if I remember correctly. Keep in mind I held back so that you'd still be able to talk. That's enough of that. little Carl. Long time no see. Not you too, Miss Makoto. Why does it seem as if my past is coming back to haunt me? Is there some sort of class reunion I'm not aware of? A class reunion? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Unfortunately, that isn't the case. However, you're just as cute and cuddly as ever. It almost makes me want to care about what you have to say, but... I can't let you have Tsubaki. Why do you feel the need to interfere? Don't tell me you of the library actually understand loyalty. Because we're friends. I have no other reason besides that. I find that very difficult to believe. But more importantly, it seems that you're a member of the Intelligence Department, judging by your uniform. If that's the case, then you probably know far more about my father's whereabouts than she does. Father? What are you talking about? He's talking about Relia's Clover. Don't worry about me, Makoto. You have to run! He's a lot stronger than you think. <sighs> Whoa! Hold up there a minute! What do you plan on doing in your condition? Were you planning on holding him off while I make good my escape? You might want to lay off the comic books for a while. Makoto... Oh, I see. Hmm. Tsubaki, please just keep quiet right now. Hmm. Uh, oh, I see. So, you do know about him after all. I was sure that the Intelligence Department would have a great deal of information to share. Right, sis? Tsubaki, I think it's time to run. Uh, oh, Makoto, what are you... Do you think I'll let you get away? Let's go, sis. Whoa! Better luck next time! It seems you've got much to learn, young Carl. Well, I'll see you around! Wait! Wow, she's fast! Oh, I think I've lost sight of her. However, I have every intention of getting the information I need. This is my chance. There are two people in Kagutsuchi that know about my father. Sis, what's wrong? So, this is the place Sis was pointing to? Sis, is this where the Azure is? Amazing. I never knew there was such a place under the NOL. And what could that be? I feel 
as if the air is trying to crush me. Azure? Is that the Azure? My goodness! Unexpected guests! Hmm... Part of the continuum shift? Hmm... Oh! I didn't even know you were there! Who are you? Oh my, where are my manners? Sincerest apologies. I am Hazama, from the Novus Orbis Librarium Intelligence Department. And you are... Carl Clover. Vigilante extraordinaire, correct? How do you know who I am? Well, for starters, I'm pretty sure we've met before. You... You were the NOL agent who was with Miss Noel! Ah, so you do remember me. I'm touched. Whoa! Sis! Gosh, that was dangerous! I could have been hurt! That's a big no-no, Nirvana. You can't use violence to solve all your problems. You know... my sister? Just who exactly are you? Huh? Didn't I just introduce myself? I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, you're such a silly kid. Gah! If you're also with the intelligence department, then you must know where my father is. Also? My, my, so you've been talking to other librarian agents, have you? Well, dang, this won't do at all. All the people just running around, doing as they please. Who's their commanding officer, anyway? Oh, wait. <laughs> that would be me, wouldn't it? Duh! Come on now, Carl Clover. Why so serious? I've dealt with a lot of adults just like you. You act friendly and speak and have truths. But in the end, you're really just trying to deceive me. Thanks to all of them, I know how brutal this world can be. Oh? Well, well, this is rather interesting. I certainly won't deny you have had a number of rather, uh, shall we say, cruel experiences. I think we've exhausted the potential for this discussion. More important than my past is the whereabouts of Ragna the Blood Edge. Tell me where he is! You are a vicious little bugger, aren't you? No wonder Novana is so obedient. The proud son of Relius Clover. You know... my father? Kind of a hard person to get, isn't he? I'll be honest with you, kid. I have a little trouble putting up with him myself. Sis, this person... Oh, come on! What's the matter? Why the scary face? Oh, don't tell me. You actually want to fight me? Well, see, the thing is, I don't really like fighting. Unfortunately for you, I couldn't care less about what you like. Now, tell me everything you know about my father and Ragna the Blood Edge. Yeah, yeah, well, it looks like Ragna hasn't shown up yet. I suppose I can play with you for a bit. Yet? I guess we're in the right place after all. Sis! All right. Show me what you've got, boy. The Veil of Freddy starting. Level 1. Action! Watch your feet. Oh no, Bermada! 
Even if you're rotten, I guess you're still Nirvana, aren't you? Sis, it's time for the finale! Target confirmed. Nox Nictoris class weapon. What in the... Reinforcements? Talk about playing dirty! Deploying pedals. Commencing elimination of target. Go! Huh? Wait! Huh? Process terminated. What do you think you're doing, you idiot? You do what I tell you, not whatever the hell you feel like doing! God damn it! Is this part of the continuum shift too? Takamagahara, you are such a pain in the ass! Sis? Can you move? I'm okay. I can still fight. Oh, man. How do I put this? This is really, really discouraging. I'm supposed to believe this little prick is another piece of this godforsaken puzzle? Fuoco! What? With one hand? So you think you've seen some pretty messed up stuff, right? Well, how about I give you a taste of real hell? Don't you dare move, you little shit! And stay out of the way of my game, alright? Don't make fun of me! Are you serious? You can't be serious! Did you really think you were gonna take me down with that? That?! <laughs> Wake up! Go! Oh, go! Oh. Crap! Sis! Wh what's going on? I... I can't... move! Yep. I suggest... No! I insist! That you enjoy the show from up there. Trust me, it'll be the best show you've ever seen. Shame your sister won't be able to enjoy it with you. <laughs> uh, uh, sis! 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 This is fun, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. Hmm, what should I do next? Ooh, that was a good one. Nice and crisp. Sis, please, stop! Stop it! I'm sorry, what's that? You'll need to speak up. I just can't hear you. <laughs> please, please stop this. I beg you! <laughs> oh man, does this feel great! Isn't she just gorgeous? I mean, something about the way she falls apart is just an incredible commentary on the futility and impermanence of life. Don't you think? This is art. What's that? Little too much for the old heart to handle? Come on now, the fun's just starting. I've got so much more in mind for your dear sweet sister. <laughs> Go! 
<laughs> Try and remember this, kid. This is war. Compassion, forgiveness, mercy. What do you think this is, a tea party? You won't find any of those here. Little boys that still piss themselves when shit starts to get real don't belong in something like that. Capiche? So you burn that little nugget of information into whatever you've got that passes for a brain, and please do try and be a little more entertaining next time, okay? You think you can do that for me? Please? Ah, oh, well, it's not like it matters. You were a good catalyst while you lasted. Bye-bye. Help me! Professor Kokonoe! Greetings, lost children. I am Professor Kokonoe, genius scientist and ruler of the Sector 7 Laboratory. Well, simply put, it's a mysterious room. A room where you can do anything you want. To be honest, it's a paradise for all those sad little lost children who couldn't make it to the true ending. A sort of Avalon. If you're one of those nut bars who's all, I don't need help. <sighs> Very well. Lost child of the day, you may enter. Excuse me? Uh, hello? Oh, it's you. And hey, you brought Nirvana too, huh? That's not my sister's name! Ah, uh, calm down, kid. I know what's up. Yes, she's with me. What's up, Nirvana? Glad to see you're all fixed up. How did you know about... Yeah, well, I'm a god here. Anyway, you don't need to be so courteous here. Come again? We take this easy around here. You don't need to have that, ugh, just whatever man sort of attitude. Uh, oh, okay. It's really not my nature, but I'll try. By the way, what exactly is this place? Professor Kokonoe's love clinic. L love Yep, love. L-O-V-E. You can tell me anything. Why do I feel like I'm suddenly under the gun? Oh, okay. Then, please hear me out. I don't know the why or how of it, but I was thrown into the cauldron and ended up here. Everything after that is kind of a blur. I see. And my sister was in pieces. I see, I see. Uh... Um, Miss Kokonoe? Yes? Aren't you being a bit too remiss about this? No, you just have the worst luck imaginable. I just feel bad for you. I mean, damn. Your luck is terrible. If you keep going like this, your life is gonna be crap. That's a rather cruel way to put it. I don't think it's like that at all. Right, sis? you too? I never thought. What should I do? Anyway, first off, we need to start by getting over your gloominess. Am... am I really that much of a downer? Uh, yeah. Like a mega downer. I really don't see myself like that, to be honest. Can you give any advice? Sure. After all, this is a safe place. A place where you can get advice for achieving the true ending, and a place to have your worries listened to and made fun of. Um, sis?
She's telling you to do your best. You can actually hear what she's saying? More or less, dot dot dot, and all that. Anyway, for a quick fix, why don't you just try and imitate someone cheerful? Mimic someone cheerful? Like who? Rachel. I have this really weird feeling of deja vu right now. Didn't we go through all of this in the last game? And besides, Rachel isn't the most cheerful of people. All right, fine. How about Tao Kaka? Huh? Miss Kitty? I, I don't think any human could pull that off. D do I really have to be like her? I'm just kidding. Oh, I see. That's a relief. S sorry Um... Is there any advice you could give me to get the true ending? Well, don't take the easy route, I guess. If you make choices that push you to your limits, then I think the path to the true ending will unfold. That seems a little... vague. Well, you're supposed to figure this stuff out on your own. Thank you, Miss Kokonoe. Okay, sis. Let's get going. Right. Later. Good luck. You take care, Nirvana. I wonder what he'd be like if he was actually happy. Would he be like, <laughs> Look, sis, it's a butterfly. My goodness, unexpected guests. The Wheel of Fred is turning. Level 1. Action! Vigilante? Ada! Carl, please don't! It's my Over time here. to tie her! Not bad! Yeah. 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 It's my time! Yeah. 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 This is boring! Yeah. This is boring! Yeah. 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 Going in! By Merchant, I bought... <sighs> I think we'll be okay here. Tsubaki, do you think you can stand? Yes, thank you, Makoto. I didn't expect you to show up. What were you doing there? Well, I was doing a little snooping for the intel department, but... No. Let's forget about work right now, okay? Yes. I think that's a good idea. Silly me, I know I just said what I said, but... Be honest with me. How's working for the Zero Squadron? How is it working for them? I... I don't even know how to start answering that question. I mean... Well... I just wonder if you ever have issues with the squadron's objectives. That's all. Why so many questions? The Librarium... No. The Imperator's will is absolute. Hmm? And you're really okay with that? It isn't about whether I'm okay with it or not. The world needs order, and right now, that order is provided by the Librarium. I don't have any reason to doubt that order. 
Makoto, I know we've talked about this before, but I... I want to create a world. A world without conflict or war. But if I'm going to create that brave new world, there has to be order. Absolute order. I see. Okay, okay, I get it. Well, I got stuff to do, so I'll be taking off now. Makoto? Alright, I understand. And thank you for helping me. Don't worry about it. Alright then. I'll be seeing you around, Tsubaki. The library. If I just wait around here, one of those two will eventually cross my path. What's the matter, sis? Ah, I see. Someone is approaching from over there. Thank you for the warning, sis. here. Wait a second, that's... Oh, it's you, Carl! I'm so glad I found you! You're the doctor from the clinic in Orient Town. What brings you out here? Don't tell me you somehow managed to follow me. I heard everything from Linwa. Mr. Bang and I thought it would be best if we went out and searched for you, given that your wounds weren't treated properly. Please don't concern yourself with me. How many times must I repeat myself before the thought will take hold? And besides, my wounds are completely healed. Huh? But I was told that your wounds were quite serious. Don't tell me you actually took... Your face... It's so pale. Did you use that medicine? Huh. I guess you really are a doctor after all. But seriously, don't worry about me. And anyway, why do you care so much about my well-being? Stop being so fussy! The benefits from that medicine only last a short time. The after-effects that will occur once it wears off are almost unbearable. For most, just the thought of that pain makes them continue to take the medicine far longer than they should. That medicine was developed for the soldiers on the front lines during the first Ikaruga Civil War. I thank you for the history lesson, except that I already know all of this. So your point is what, exactly? Mr. Bang was rather surprised. He said he didn't know who you fought, but whoever it was really knew how to pull his punches. <sighs> Nevertheless, with those wounds, you still shouldn't have been able to move like this yet. If at all. But you somehow managed to get up right away and fight the lieutenant. I see. So that's how you were able to... Of you! None of you have even the slightest clue what I'm going through! Your false sympathy is not only insulting, but it's fast becoming a nuisance! Why won't you understand that? Adults are always like that. Even my father. He pretended to be nice and caring, but what he did to me and my sister. Scheming bastards! All of you! Carl, I don't know what kind of life you've led up until now, but I really... Just leave me alone! The Wheel of Fate is turning. Level 1. Action! It's my turn now! Ha, take this! Hey, Kalanta! Hey, hey, Kalanta! Kalanta! Hey, Grail! Return! <laughs> it's my turn now! Take this! Let's wackle! Alaganto! Contabulate! Grail!
Why did Nirvana stop? Was it Carl? Sis, what was that? Why? Carl, now do you understand? No, no! Why should I trust you? Adults are lying, self-serving bastards! Why are you doing this? Uh. What should I do, sis? Why am I crying? <laughs> That's strange. Even though I know you're not my sister, I'm sorry, you're right. I'm not your sister, but at the very least I can do this much for you. There's no shame in crying. If you're still able to cry, that means there's still hope for you yet. Sis, I'm... I just wanted to be with you! That's all I wanted! Yet... Yet... He... He had to! Whatever happened, it must have been really tough for you. <laughs> Are you okay now, Carl? Yes, and thank you. I'm sorry that you had to witness such an unseemly display of emotion, however. There's no need to apologize for being human. Everyone needs a shoulder to cry on every once in a while. Especially myself. Even you, Miss Lychee? Yes, even me. So really, don't worry about it. Okay. But still, thank you. Now that that's out of the way, I must insist that you let me examine you. And promise me you'll never use that medicine again, okay? But for now, let's head back to the clinic. Huh? But... There are times like this where you really should just listen to what others have to say. Yes, perhaps you're right. In that case, I think I will take you up on your offer. Sis also thinks it's a good idea as well. Oh, sister, is it? I see she really does resemble Ada. What? What's the matter, Carl? Oh, is this man an acquaintance of your? <laughs> you bastard! Ah, uh, Carl, my boy, you really do seem to hate me. But alas, your anger is merely a candle to the sun. Why did you do that to my sister? What do you mean by that? I will never forget what I saw that day! And I refuse to believe that you've forgotten it, Father! Father? It can't be! You're... Relius Clover? The Puppet Master? Ah, so there it is. The Nox Nictoris Nirvana. Looking back on the whole thing, she was the perfect test subject. I was truly honored that Ada willingly cooperated throughout the entire process. Cooperated? You... Turned her into a machine! How could you do something like that? That thing has fulfilled its role, with flying colors no less. You evil! Miss Lychee, I'm sorry. I just don't think I can ever forgive this man. Sis! This failing Carl! No, don't! Yeah! What?
possible. A crimson nirvana. Allow me to introduce Fluctus Redactum Ignis. Ignis? It can't be. That's right. Now this is my greatest creation. My one and only desire fulfilled. With this, I have achieved perfection. You can't even begin to compare it to that Nox Nictoris. Perfection? What are you saying, Father? Boundary interfaces. I've spent some time experimenting with those as well, but they just wouldn't do. Why, you ask? Because they were already complete. Because they were already complete, I was unable to get them to do what I required of them. Dear Ada was the one who taught me that lesson. I really do owe her my thanks. Never say her name again! Hmm. Impressive. But there still seems to be a great deal of room for improvement. You... how dare you do something like that to your own child? Ah, uh, yes, I remember you now. You were a colleague of the Professor, were you not? You know the Professor? Why, of course. Kokonoe helped me build this. Ignis. Impossible! The Professor did? Indeed she did. Both Kokonoe and one other have become what I like to call Architects of Sin. Architects of... Sin? However, it appears that one of the two has thrown away the ability, or so it seems, and it's precisely why I no longer have use for them. The Professor created a Nox Nictoris? <laughs> Why, I haven't been this forthcoming in some time. However, it is rare that I come across those who have the intelligence to even begin to grasp what I have to say. Oh, it appears that my time is up, as is yours, unfortunately. Oh, I will never forgive you. Ignis? Finish them. Nirvana? Sis. A most intriguing response, Ada. So, Murakumo has awakened. Although, I never thought that the Twelfth Subject would... I thought that was just a failed experiment. It appears there is still much I have to learn. Nirvana, thank you. Carl. Carl? Ah, Miss Lychee. Are you okay? <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! 
it, Father! So that's what you were after! Carl! What's the matter? Stop! Stop it, Carl! <laughs> What's wrong? Tell me! Carl, you have to calm down! Calm down? How can you expect me to calm down in a situation like this? Don't you realize that robot with him was... Ignis Clover! That was... My mother! Huh? All right, sis. I'm all ready to go now. Sis, I'm sorry for everything I've put you through. I promise that I'll... Yes, I understand. I'll defeat him with my own two hands. But there's no way for me to do that as I am now. That's why... That's why I need to somehow obtain the Azure Grimoire. To defeat my father and save you! That's why I'm planning on going to Ikaruga, the very place that Fluctus Redactum Ignis was created. Although I am more than a little worried that no clues have survived in that wasteland. I heard that Ragna the Blood Edge was also headed for Ikaruga. That's the reason why I'm even bothering to go there in the first place. Also, I need to find that Kokonoe person from Sector 7, too. Well then, shall we be on our way, sis? Oh, yes, you're right. I almost forgot. Miss Lychee, Master Bang, please forgive me for leaving without telling you. I am truly grateful for everything you've done for me. If I live long enough to reach adulthood, then I hope to become someone like you, Miss Lychee. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Wheel of Pet is turning. Level 1. Action! Huh? Hey! It's yeah. my turn now! Hey! Ah! 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 What a boring falsetto. Let's oh, see no. you got this. Rhapsody of memory. Counter. Will you listen to what I have to say, Master Carl? <sighs> you seem... down. <laughs> yeah, oh, that hurt! The, the 
pain! It is excruciating, Master Carl! <sighs> Carl, what happened to you? You used to be such a sweet and caring young boy. Huh, I think I get it now. Uh, what did you get? I didn't even see you leave. <sighs> I read about this very situation in a book I found in the doctor's room a long time ago. What? A book in Miss Lychee's room? Okay, now you're just being creepy. I, I apologize. I could not help myself. Moving on. What kind of book was it? It was one of those How to Treat a Child Who's Down books. Perfect! That sounds exactly what Carl needs right now. Do you remember what instructions you saw in this venerable tome? If I remember correctly, you have them lay on their side and have them relax. Carl, lie down on this bed right this instant. Now, you must close your eyes and relax. Relax, I say! Don't worry about it, sis. I'll do what they say. For now. Now try to remember. Remember? About what? Remember a time in the past where you were completely relaxed. A time when I was completely... relaxed? Exactly. You ready? Here I go. One, two, three. Aren't you... a little scared? Why would I be scared? Don't worry, tonight is just a night like any other. Besides, weren't you the one who suggested we get to the bottom of the seven mysteries of the Academy? Um... It was mostly Makoto's idea, but... W wait a second... Where is Makoto? Right here. She's cowering behind me. Scary! Makoto, you are the one who suggested this little adventure. You should be the one taking the lead. No, 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 no! I can never do something like that. What are you talking about? You didn't think it would be quite this scary, did you? Yeah. <laughs> How come I'm not surprised? Never mind. I'll take point. Are you serious? Oh, little Carl, you're the best. Yes, well, I am a man, after all. Oh, Carl, I think I'm falling for you. What? Miss Makoto, don't jump on me like that. It's obviously shedding season and your fur will get all over my pants. <laughs> Sorry about that. I guess I got a little carried away. You know, Carl... I never thought about it before, but you're pretty conscientious about your appearance, aren't you? You always seem to be taking a lot of time and care when you dress in the morning. Yes, I have to credit my sister for that. She always told me that wrinkles in your clothes are wrinkles in your mind, and that you should always be presentable, no matter what the occasion. What a nice sister. Yes, she is! Sis is really elegant, and she's got a nice personality. At the same time, she's got a great sense of humor, and when we used to live together, she'd always make little puzzles and riddles for me. And her jokes were riotously funny. For example, how many dead hamsters does it take to change a light bulb? Oh man, just thinking about it makes me laugh until I... Stop! Stop! Just stop right there! Carl, if you keep going on about your sister, we'll be here until dawn. Ah, I'm sorry. It's just, whenever I talk about my sister, I... <laughs> Aw, I'm jealous. I wish I had a cute little brother like you now. Be serious, Miss Noel. 
That'd be impossible, you know? No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'd never be anyone's younger brother but my own sister's. Oh. I see. I think. See? It's all elementary, my dear Noelle. <sighs> well then, we should get moving or we'll be here all night. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, let's plunge ourselves into the seven mysteries of the Academy. So now, let's go! Dark. They turn off all the lights during the late night hours to conserve electricity. By the way, Makoto, what sort of mysteries are we going to be solving? I didn't even know the school had any. Huh? Ah, uh, well, um, well, you know, there's the, um, oh, oh, the laughing portrait of Beethoven. The skeleton model that dances around on its own. A piano that plays itself. A single step that appears out of nowhere. Balls that start bouncing on their own in the gymnasium. Cries coming from the toilets. The ghost of a girl that constantly tries to get you to come to the girl's bathroom on the third floor. Huh? That doesn't sound like the ones I heard. Huh? Carl, what mysteries have you heard about? The grease that just won't come off the frying pans, no matter how much you scrub them. The basketballs that were just left all over the place after being used. Weeds that just keep coming back even after they've been pulled. The terrible sound quality of the school's PA speakers. The windowsill that for some reason is still dusty despite repeated cleanings. The squeaky floors when rain falls. And the mysterious door to the teacher's office that resists all efforts to fix it. Isn't that just... Yeah, totally. It's just the school staff and students bitching about how bad the facilities are. I thought as much. I guess it's because Carl is so nice and listens to what everyone has to say. Yeah. Carl is such a nice boy, isn't he? Stop it! You're embarrassing me! N now that you mention it, I've got a few mysteries of my own. Oh yeah? Let's hear them! A room that is never cleaned no matter how many times I ask. A sink left running for no reason. Dirty clothes scattered across the floor. Vegetables that... Wait, wait! Hold it right there! Isn't that... That's just you bitching about me and Noel. Yes, these are some very troublesome mysteries. Ah, it seems that you have a great many troubles of your own, Miss Subaki. Finally, someone who understands me. Thank you, Carl. Well, in all honesty, it really wasn't that hard to imagine. You two, stop it! <laughs> D did you guys just hear that? Yeah, I did. It came from the music room. Let's go! <laughs> you were right, Carl. It is coming from inside the music room. There must be someone in there. <sighs> Who can it be? <sighs> How the hell are we supposed to know? Do you think it's the portrait of Beethoven that's laughing? That seems the most likely explanation. <laughs> no, that's not quite right. Do I need to go a little higher? Yes, that sounds about right. Now, let me try it with some dialogue. Ahem. <laughs> At last, 
we meet, oh dear brother of mine. How I've longed for this day to finally arrive. I see you have too. I can see you shiver with anticipation. Killing you now will be so sweet. Um... Isn't that Class President Kisaragi? Yes, it is Class President Kisaragi. What on earth is he doing? Oh, I know! He must be rehearsing for some kind of play. A play? Could you think of anything else? He's popular enough that the drama club wouldn't hesitate to ask him for help when they're short on actors. I bet he's going to be starring in an upcoming performance. It... Is that so? Of course. Yeah, that must be it. It, it all, all makes, makes sense, sense now. now. Well, so much for the laughing portrait in the music room. One mystery down, six to go. It's the piano. It's coming from next door. Everybody ready? I'm going to open the door. There. And turn. Perfect. Ah, you are as magnificent as ever, Madam Rachel. Ah, you dance exquisitely. Even I, Valkenhayn, am touched. To accompany you in this dance is the greatest honor I could hope for. Yes, excellent. You are amazing, Madam Rachel. Get it now? Huh? Carl, dazzle us with your wondrous powers of deduction. Um, I'm ashamed to admit I have no idea what's going on here. He's playing the piano as an accompaniment to whatever daydream he's having. In his fantasy, he must be dancing with someone. Listen to what he's playing. It's something very easy to dance to, and the passion with which he's playing he must really love whoever he's fantasizing about. Carl, you're pretty amazing. I have to second that. Oh, no, not really. I mean, anyway, we've solved the great piano mystery. Only five more to go. Hey, here it is, right here. This is the staircase with the step that magically appears out of nowhere in the middle of the night. All right, let's try climbing it and see what happens. There should be 12 stairs in all. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen! Ah! There are thirteen steps! Why? Calm down! Take a look at what we're standing on!
Relax, everyone. It's just... a cat. Uh, a cat? It's huge. It's way too big to be a cat. Are you sure it's just a cat? Absolutely 100% positive. And it appears to be a stray at that. It must have snuck into the building somehow and just curled up on these stairs. <laughs> it must be really tired. I doubt it's going to be waking up anytime soon. That must have been why some people confused it for an extra step. Ah, a kitty. It's so cute. Carl, you are amazing. Oh no, really, I haven't done anything of note. If one simply stays calm and thinks about the situation rationally, I'm sure they'd all arrive at the same conclusion that I have. Oh yes, before I forget, the bouncing basketballs in the gym? That's the substitute special ed teacher Bang trying to blow off some steam by practicing slam dunks. The cries from the toilets? Those are the pathetic cries of Lychee, the school nurse, as she desperately tries to squeeze herself into a miniskirt one size too small for her. The dancing skeleton in the science lab was the piano-playing butler from before. He was practicing his dance moves, and I guess he couldn't find a partner, so... Uh, amazing! You've already solved so many mysteries! Yes. I had a feeling that we would be unable to solve all of the mysteries before dawn, given you three's exuberance, so I took the liberty of doing a bit of poking around beforehand. Oh man, what would we ever do without you, Carl? But if you stop and think about it, I guess it makes sense that all the mysteries actually had fairly rational explanations. When they're afraid, people will often see things that aren't actually there, or at the very least, misinterpret things that are there. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mm. I don't know about you, but with everything that's happened, I'm just beat. I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of fun tonight. Really? If you really enjoyed yourself, then I guess it's mission accomplished. Come again? Carl, you seemed a little down lately, you know? You were homesick, weren't you? Ah, so that's why you guys... You planned all of this... for me? Yeah, sorta. <laughs> Everyone, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I really did have a great time. Oh, you don't need to thank us. The smile on your face is more than enough thanks for us. <laughs> That's strange. Weren't those three girls supposed to drag Carl this way? Oh my! Principal Ragna, what on earth are you doing in this compromising position? Well, if it isn't the rabid vice principal. Oh yeah, why am I here? Carl came to me because he needed some help solving one of the seven mysteries. I'm supposed to be acting as a ghost girl or something. And here I am, sitting on my thumb. A girl? Please do refrain from saying such idiotic things. You are making me ill. Hey, what do you mean by that? I'm an awesome ghost girl. Ah, uh, no. No matter how one looks at you, one sees a pitiful fool who fell victim to his own students and has been, as the final insult, forgotten. Wait, what did you say? Hey, Vice Principal Rabbit! Hey! 